Hi Animal Crossing fans, it's Sassy Shortcake here and today I'm going to be doing two more speed builds. I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas and a safe and happy new year. Now, who should we choose? Ooh, a place to work out the rhythm of the music. A flower shop. A relaxing home. Or, a, ooh, a choir group. This is interesting. Let's try that one out today. A place for choir practice. The main choir area is going to be inside, but I just want to make kind of like a pretty garden and an outside harp playing area here. I'm going to stick with a lot of whites and just make it, I love this little area with the water here already and the, the ruins. And I want to keep this kind of purity going with the whites. White harp, white chair, oh money tree. I'm uh, not so sure about the gold flowers. I might get rid of those and just stick with the white ones. Yeah, that's looking a bit better, but a mix of all the different co colored white flowers. Mm, what to do with the house? I, I think I'll keep that white too. Stick into a set theme here. This is looking nice. I like the blue door. We just need a bit more pave, bit more pave stones out here. And change that to wood. I think it looks better wooden like this. Like the larger pathway. A bit more seating, a few more flowers, and I think we're about there. A little cart here. With some tea setting on, on top of it. Now inside I need to make this place a lot bigger. Because this is where the main choir is. I'm probably more going to set up people's places like with a band setting. But with more classical instruments, we have the piano and the saxophone, but I'm going to include the clarinet and the drums and some guitars as well. Oh, and don't forget the violin. So I want to split this flooring up. So half of it is kind of like the stage area and the other half is like the sitting area where people might be able to sit down and watch. And this is the little conductor's area in the middle. Oh, I'm not quite sure if it should be a different color or not. Let's make this a bit bigger. <laughs> make it bigger again. All right, here is the sitting kind of area. It needs to be bigger again because the chairs were a bit crammed. And let's, yeah, that's looking a bit better. I'll make the wall behind the stage the feature wall. And I do think I want to change the conductor's rug. Uh, I wanted like a red square, but a red red rectangle might have to do it. I was looking for a small table to display the the flowers but these light, light cubes are actually really great. I'm just going to change that conductor's rug once more back to what it originally was or at least the same dark color. I've got tiles instead of wood though. And some final chandeliers to finish off the place. Okay, so my next customer is Mallory and she would like a relaxing hot spring resort. When I first chose her to do this build, I was picturing a high class indoor resort, but the items that she's chosen are more like a, an outdoor spa kind of thing, like a hot springs. So I'm going to go more the natural way rather than high end living. So that being said, I chose this place with the double waterfall. Uh, I'm using lots of bamboo and greenery and her house is going to be like green zen kind of feeling. I'm not quite sure of the bamboo items that I want to use yet. I've got this deer scare, the noodle slide, the bamboo partitions and a shelf, but <laughs> how I'm going to configure them, I'm not sure about the shelf. I think it'll have to go. Now I need to focus on the flooring and the bridge. Uh, I'm not sure that I want to do a whole path running through here. I think I'm going to go with stepping stones and then I'll 
I guess I'll turn this into the zen kind of sand. Because it looks a bit odd with just old grass. This is starting to look a lot like another build that I've done recently. Well, what can I say? I like what I like. <laughs> now I'm just looking for a little uh, stool or chair to sit at the end here. Just to sit and relax. I kind of wanted like a chair to look into the water, but these bamboo, they're too big to move. So it's going to have to be a singleton chair. I can at least customize it and change the color. All right, so here's what we've got inside already. I'm just going to make this like a little bamboo house. This isn't going to be huge. It's like you'd come inside after relaxing and enjoying the hot springs outside and you can come inside and have a little spa bath or like a sauna or something. So I'm not going to go wild. I'm going to put like a little tea table down and that's probably where I'm going to leave it. I'm not sure what colors to do. I think it's looking all right, but I probably will change the colors of these mats or even the table possibly. We've got the tea now. We've got something to eat. Hmm. I'm not sure about the turquoise teal color as well. I might go half white, half turquoise with these floor rugs. And then I just want to add some more mats underneath just to further separate this sitting area. Just slightly different color. I think that's good. I actually do love this and I think so does Mallory. <laughs> Okay guys, thank you so much for watching another episode. Please like and subscribe to Boss Family Plays if you want to see more like this. And I hope you're having a wonderful new year. Bye for now. I'll see you on my next adventure.